In this video, we're going to take a look at how to factor trinomials. Okay, so when you see tri, that means three. So we're going to be looking at factoring polynomials that contain three terms. All right, so what you want to do is you want to just open up two sets of parentheses, and since this first term is an x squared, you can put an x in the first spot in each parenthesis. Okay, now, to determine what goes in the second spot in each parenthesis, all you have to do is find two numbers that multiply to the last term, so it multiplies to negative 18, and don't forget that negative sign, and it's going to add to negative 7. So you may have to do a little trial and error in your head, but you should come up with a negative 9 and a positive 2. So that's it. It's factored. If you want to check, you easily can. You can just double distribute this out, and you should wind up with the original expression we started with. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So in the next one, all right, this one looks a little harder, but what you can say to yourself is, you know, what can I factor out of all three of these terms? And in this case, you can factor out not just a three, but an A. So if you can factor out a greatest common factor, that's what you're always going to want to do to start. So we pull out a 3A, and then in parentheses, we're going to write what we're left with when we pull out the GCF. So remember, when you pull out a GCF, you're just taking each term and dividing it by the greatest common factor. So that'll leave us with an a squared, and then minus 36 divided by 3 is 12, a squared divided by a is a, and then plus 108a divided by 3a would be 36. Okay, so if we take a look at what's inside the parentheses here, it's still a trinomial, so let's hope we can factor this further. And if not, then this would be our answer. But we have to, you know, at least try to see if we can. So bring down the 3a, let's open up two sets of parentheses, and since a times a is a squared, let's make this an a and this an a. And then we have to come up with two numbers that multiply to the last term, so multiply to positive 36 and add to negative 12. All right, so negative 6 and negative 6. So we have a minus 6 and a minus 6. So this right here is your answer. And remember to always bring that 3a down because that's, you know, part of your answer. That's a factor there. Now, if you prefer to write this as 3a, and then a minus 6 with a square on the outside of the parenthesis, you can do that as well because whenever you have two of the same term, you can always just write them once instead of twice and put a square on the outside. Okay, and then our final example that we're going to take a look at is this one right here. Now, the difference with this is, you know, number one, we had an x squared. Number two, once we pull out the greatest common factor, we had an a squared. Here, you can't pull out a greatest common factor and our leading term right here is x to the fourth. So it's not a big deal. We just still set up our two sets of parentheses. And since x squared times x squared gives us x to the fourth, we're going to put an x squared in the first spot in each parenthesis. Now you still do the same thing. You come up with two numbers that multiply to negative 36 and that add to that middle term, which is 5. All right, so that's a positive 9 and a negative 4. Okay, and I know you may be saying, but what about this x squared that's in here? How does that come out to play? If at this point you tried to double distribute these out, we would have x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth, and then x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared, and if you combine that with a positive 9x squared, that's how you would get that 5x squared. And just to finish, 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. Now with this problem, if you look at our factors here, what you'll notice is this second one here is a difference of two perfect squares. So what we can do is we can factor this one further to x plus 2 and x minus 2. The first factor here is not a difference of perfect squares because of that addition sign. So this can't be factored further. So all we do is just bring down the x squared plus 9. So this would be our final answer.